It's a view of Iran we don't often see. Young people, drum beats and music mags. No one knows about Persian cats tells the story of Tehran's underground rock scene and some of the characters who bring it to life. The role I have is my own life. Sorry, I, I've come out of prison in the film and I, I'm totally disappointed. I'm looking for a band to uh, go out outside Iran and perform because uh, we have received an invitation for, from a festival. The story itself is fiction, but the people and their lives are very real. All these things that are happening in the film, they can be happening now. They have happened before and they will happen in future. Uh, but the uh, real part is that our, our lives, our lives is, are real and our characters are um, not made up. 60% of Iran's population is under the age of 30 and director Barman Gabadi sets out to celebrate a generation likely to determine the country's future. I absolutely couldn't, couldn't help but read the film as political as a political statement. Here he is presenting and celebrating a subculture in Tehran that's actually outlawed and, um, and doing it brilliantly. The film plays this weekend at the London Film Festival and in a week at the Doha Tribeca Festival. But the story of Ash and Nagar continues today. Since Iran's violent post-election period, they've sought asylum here in Britain but their lives remain inextricably linked to the fortunes of their country. I think that the film was successful in uh, showing a different Tehran than uh, what is shown on the news and what is um, basically publicized by the media. At its core, this is a story about the real Iran, a different Iran and a different culture to the one defined by a fractious relationship with the outside world. Hamish MacDonald, Al Jazeera, London.